Hi, my name is Tracy Paulson. I serve in Outward Focus Ministries and facilitate the Healing Journey Ladies Bible Study. And today I want to encourage us from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1, verse 3. And they said to me, The remnant there in the province who had survived the exile is in great trouble and shame. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates are destroyed by fire. So like Nehemiah receiving that bad news, we all have received bad news of COVID-19 and in a way it is ruining our land. And so today I want to encourage us on the topic of grief. Uh, grief is hard, it's not well understood or valued in our culture, and it's largely associated with loss through death. But there are a lot of different losses that do not include death. Um, basically anything important or anyone important to us, uh, when we lose that, we begin the grieving process. It's vitally important to grieve your losses and to feel those feelings. Grieving is normal, it's natural, and it's necessary. If we try to stuff our grief or ignore it, it just isn't gonna work. It's like a bathtub filling up without ever draining it. It's going to overfill at the most inopportune time, so basically it's not a good idea. Recognizing the symptoms of grief is important. It can look like heaviness, depression, a loss of energy, distraction, inability to focus, being impatient, um, changes to eating and sleeping habits, pain, sometimes numbness, sadness, and tears, a lot of tears. And for some of us, we have an overwhelming urge to return to false idols. And this is definitely not what we want to do. But we are all experiencing some type of loss associated with COVID-19. For our family, that looks like, for me, ISR. I teach infant swimming self-rescue lessons, and this would have been my 20th season in business. Unfortunately, I've had to shut down my business indefinitely, and it's really sad. Our son is deployed halfway around the world. That's hard. Our daughter's swim team, if it happens at all, is going to look a whole lot different. All of these things are really hard and sad. Um, grief is like an alien. It takes over our body. We can't schedule it. We can't force it. We can't plan it. We just have to cooperate with it. And so this is where I want to encourage you when it comes to grief. We look back at Nehemiah 1 verse 4. As soon as I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I continued fasting and praying before the God of heaven. So we learn in the healing journey class, and it's something I'd love to share with you, about the Nehemiah five-step process. He sat down. He took time to feel his losses. He wept. He was honest, and he valued his feelings. He mourned, because sometimes one good cry doesn't do it, especially right now. Um, he fasted, which is such a powerful spiritual discipline where we rely on God as our source, and then he prayed. And church, this is where I want to really encourage you to pray. Take all of those hurts to Jesus. Let him comfort you. He's there. He knows it. He's with us. And um, I'm hoping that I will see a lot of you uh, in our prayer session tonight. In the meantime, some practical encouragement. You can journal, meditate, exercise, read, talk it out. Whatever activity that's healthy for you and others is a good idea to process your grief.